We started talking last time about how February is Black History Month. And we started talking about how we celebrate our differences and how we all look and have different experiences, right? Now, we're going to learn about my new composer of the month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iPad over here so we can have our friends at home listen to. What I'm going to have you do is, um, there's very little room over here right now. Uh, you can also stand behind the piano. First show, stand up. Find a space so you can see the composer of the month board. As long as you can see it, you're good. Second row, same thing. Find some space. See it? There's some space over here. Just be careful. Lots of instruments out. Alex, you can go over there. Me and maybe you'll go. There's space right here. Third row. Wait, the tallest should go back here. It's so, fine. It's fine. Uh, other people can see better. That's probably right, Lily. But just get moved up. And last row. Okay, so, if you look, our composer of the month's name is Scott Joplin. Can you say that? Scott Joplin. And Scott Joplin, this is his, pic this is his picture right here, Joyful Joplin, he is our first American composer. He is our first composer who was born and lived in America right here. He composed ragtime music. Well, hang on, let me, let me back up. He was born in 1868 and passed away on April 1st, 1917. So it's 2021, so that's over 100 years ago that he passed away. So he lived a really long time ago. He composed ragtime music, which was in the late 1800s to the early 1900s. His full name is Scott Joplin, there he is, and that says ragtime Scott Joplin. Um, the Maple Leaf Rag and The Entertainer are probably his most famous compositions. And the one that we just listened to was 